Hey now, say now, what's up, Solar System? It's your girl, Righteous Soul. And today, 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 y'all, I hate it for us because we got to catch a gold digger. There's just so many things I do not understand about what goes on in the mind of a gold digger. But I guess we're about to find out together how they think a little bit. I don't know. Y'all y'all come in, in the comment section if you understand them, if you are them, if you want to give us some insight as to what wires a person's brain not to give someone a chance one minute, but the next minute to be like, oh, you know what? You got this, you got that. I want, I want you now. Like my body is okay to receive you now. Cause I don't operate like that. Like I, I can't make my body have chemistry for someone for the sake of what they have. But y'all tell me, I know that's a little bit judgmental, so I'm trying not to be that. I'm just really just trying to figure out how these things are working here. So y'all tune in with me and tell me what y'all think. How you doing? I got a boyfriend. He's not here right now. What's your name? I'm Nate. I got a boyfriend. No. So you're not going to tell me your name? That's no, kind of rude. Sorry. For real? No. Stop what? talking to me. No. Why you got to be like that? Bye. Okay. Have a good day. Bye. I don't know if that was rude. Well, it was rude, but when someone is blatantly telling you to stop talking to them, maybe, you know, that would be the hint that that may not be the kind of person that you want to be carrying on a dialogue with anyway, because they're already like, don't want to be bothered and anybody carrying that spirit around, you know, for, for I get it when we're trying to get rid of guys who are just kind of being pissed. So it's a double edged sword here. So let's see. Is it mine? Yeah, why? What's up? I like it. Oh, you like it? Wow. Yeah. Who was you walking to? Um, I was going I was down the street to my friends. Oh, your friends stay down there? Like, two minute walk. Okay, what was y'all finna do? We just finna chill. Chill? You know, girls, just chill, talk. Oh, just vibe? Yeah. What's your name? Bree. Bree? Yeah. Nate, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, okay, so you really got a man? No. <laughs> oh, I just really? Oh, okay, okay, I feel I get it. a lot of dudes that be trying to talk to me. I just, you know, nah, yeah, I know. That's how it be sometimes. I, have, I, I can't say I blame her on that. Sometimes you're just trying to, especially, and, and and not that she should be judged based on what she has on, but she's going to draw even more attention based on what she has on. Um, a nice-looking young lady, you know, with the least amount of clothes on possible for the day, and honestly, you're going to attract some attention, and a lot of it won't be the kind of attention you want. So I feel you on just saying, hey, I got a boyfriend, because you're about to get this, like, 30 times a day probably or more guys trying to like holler and you're gonna have to fight them off but so i get you on that one time yeah. wait let me get your number real quick you look good thank you no problem wait so you from out here um no i'm from out of town out of Just town visiting, yeah okay how long you out here for however long you want me to be out here oh it's like that <laughs> that's how you feeling trying to take a ride oh you trying to take a ride yeah I mean, we could take a ride. Where are you trying to go? Where do you want to go? I mean, yeah, I say like 15 minutes. I got a penthouse downtown. Oh, for real? Yeah, why? Well, you trying to pull up? Let's go. You trying to go for real? Yeah. Then why are you trying to give me that seductive <laughs> looking and shit? Like, God damn. Come on, let's go. Okay, okay. I'm going to open the door for you. That's what I'm supposed to do? <laughs> okay, okay, I got you. You got that new pass locker with? Hell yeah. Why? Are we just getting in the cars with anybody? Like, are we doing that? Is that is that like something that's prevalent? Does that happen a lot? I'm just I know eventually you gotta get to know somebody, so at some point you're gonna have to get in the same vehicle, but like this is like I don't know. <laughs> you was trying to get me one? Yeah. If you put it on. If I put it on you? Yeah. Oh. Really? I was dating Sarah for four years. I was totally in love with her, and I felt... Oh, shit, I might have to. God damn. Oh, so you're not trying to link up with your friend no more? I mean, I, I can go later. You go later? Just, just chilling. No, yeah, first, first, first. I mean... So Stop doing y'all friends like that for a dude, so for... for 
a piece of action. You know, like don't do don't do fucks like that. Like I can get I can get with them later, which you you can because they're friends. They'll be around. But you say you're not sure how long you're about to be out here. I'm really just here visiting my sister. My sister lives up there. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. That's what's up. I actually just moved here too, so it's dope. Where are you from? Trinidad. Trinidad? Yeah. You, you don't got no accent. Because I've been like over here for like a long time. You ever met somebody from Trinidad? No. Well, I'm the first. Mm -hmm. I'm finna be the first Trinidad you've been with. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. For real? Mm hmm. See, see, <laughs> see, see, I like, I like the way you, you know. Yes. What? You got a nice vibe. I'm not gonna lie. I'm surprised you was walking here that by yourself. That ain't all. That's nice. Girl. For real? Mm -hmm. what? what else is nice? You tell me. You tell me. Since since you had something else that was nice, I'm trying to find out. Shit, it's gonna cost a pretty penny. It's but... gonna cost a penny? Yeah. Whoa, I'm already giving you my time for free. What do you mean? You giving me your time for free? Yeah. What that's supposed to mean? He giving you. Niggas pay to talk to me. <laughs> it's like that. It's like that. Like you really only got my attention because you got this little car. You know what I'm saying? Wait. So if I didn't have this car, you wasn't finna talk to me? I mean, shit. Of course not. If you did not have that car, the treatment would have been how you got it. The treatment you got in the very, very beginning, sir. Let's be real. That if you was in a Nissan or something. Why not, sis? Let them work for some, sis. And don't be giving away your sister's address either because <laughs> you saying your sister stay right up the street. Please, if, if this, I don't know how this ends. If this ends and you giving him addresses to your folks' house, this is not cool, sis. Not cool. Make him work. I don't care what he got. Make him work. Yeah. Shit, why not? I don't feel like if I was your guy, you know, that would go well. Cause I'm like crazy. Okay. I'm a lot to deal I'm with. I'm crazy. Oh, for real? For real. So you trying to be crazy together? That's good. But that's toxic though. Yeah. Oh, you trying to be in a toxic? Who want to be in a boring ass relationship? Who want to be in a toxic relationship? It ain't gotta be toxic. You already calling it toxic. It ain't even started yet. It's toxic. Exactly. But from the you know the vibe I got from you and earlier. We going to the Rolly store. The Rolly store? They closed. No, they not. They closed. They don't right close now. till eight. Or oh, how you know? You, you was waiting out front? I just know. Oh, you just know? Yeah. Maybe we could go there uh, tomorrow. You want okay. it? After you take me out to eat. Actually, we didn't even talk about food. State what did you talk about? Right? It's right I mean, State 48, 48 is right there, but I'm not feeling State 48. I ate it too much. You feel me? Mm. I feel like we should. Can you get some Eddie V's? Never heard of it. Oh, it's always fancy. Oh, for real? Yeah. Maybe taxing? Maybe what? Taxing? It's good. It's, it's worth good? it. Yeah. Okay. So you bougie, huh? Bad bougie. <laughs> mm, definitely bad. Not gonna lie. But um, shit. I, I feel like we could just go to the penthouse and vibe out. Yeah, that's it. You with it? Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Why was you being so rude when I approached you at first? Before you answer that question, 
who asked someone for a roly? I'm glad I'm not into like <laughs> big name designer type things. I wouldn't know what a roly looked like if it was in front of me. I don't even wear watches. Like I wear wristbands with motivational messages on them. But who asked someone for a roly in the first few minutes of meeting them? Like what is she planning to exchange for this? Because he's it's apparent that it won't be a free thing. It's going to cost her. Wow. Oh. I didn't really look at you like that. I just wasn't trying to talk. I wasn't trying to talk, though. What do I need to talk to people for? Right? You was being like You know how many niggas try to get at, get at me every day? Like, how many? Shit, a million. A million? You want to see my inbox right now? You want to uh, see my request? Hey, it's a 99 plus, baby. Okay, That's so, my request. But they wasn't in front of you trying to talk to you. You feel me? Why? I was trying what's to the, talk to you. Why? What's the difference? Really? Really? The difference is. Fellas, y'all can't be that desperate either or y'all just giving these women anything they want just because you know in exchange you're going to get a little action. But a lot comes with that little action. Some big stuff follows that. Don't, don't, don't let these gold diggers get away with just requesting things at will and you just giving that up your hard earned money and time and everything you're worth it too even if you got more than that person has like don't don't just give them that she's obviously been spoiled people are just obviously giving her things because she looks pretty she'll probably get more opportunities than someone who doesn't look as flattering to the world or on the world standards but that's not fair that's not fair for you guys to not guys and you get what you want <laughs> Get her out. Yeah, you been in this car for way too long. <laughs> I thought we was gonna go vibe out at the penthouse. I mean, we was gonna go vibe out at the penthouse. Would you ever from If you wasn't a gold digger. I'm not a gold digger. Yes, you are. She's she's shocked right now. She's probably never been told no a day in her life. She's shocked. She's even saying, will you at least drop me off to my peeps? Why? So they can see you get out of a fancy car and have a, another thing to brag about. Sis, get out with your pride that's left. <laughs> this is the game. I know.
Wow. When she said <laughs> it's probably a rental anyway, you know what that made me think of? When guys say, uh, well, you were ugly anyway after you wouldn't talk to them. Like, that's what that makes me think of. Um, I I don't know, man. I, I, I'm, I'm feeling some kind of way gold diggers out there. Like, y'all making me feel some kind of way. I don't want guys to be mistreated any more than I want women to be mistreated. And if God had to approach you in a negative way, then, you know, I get it. You know, I get it. But when he, if he's coming to you like a gentleman and just trying to trying to get your number, true enough, the only thing that I could see in this situation was, and once she tells you no, no, I, I'm a firm believer that no means no. Um, it took, I mean, so it's a lesson that it takes us all to get eventually when we're not used to being told no. But when we get that lesson, we gotta let, we gotta let it rock. Hey, nobody's worth you asking more than once about something. So that's something that I'm even like making sure that my mind has set in place so that's the only thing when he said when he continued or persisted when she was like no the first few times you know I think he could have stopped he should have stopped actually but in his defense the whole point of this prank is to catch a gold digger like and this is how you catch them you got to set the trap with honey and the honey was set and hey y'all Shoot me a comment in the comment section of something you want me to react to. Um, definitely send me some, some, some ideas. I would love to uh, give you guys some of the things that you want. Tell me what you think about this particular video. Man, 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 man. Remember, I know it's my world. You know it's my world, but it really isn't a world without you in it because y'all keep it spinning. Make sure you subscribe, comment, like, share. Do all those good things. I appreciate you, and you already know the rest. Hey now, say now, and we're out.